Sideroblastic Anemia Introduction Iron plays a key role in biosynthesis of heme and hemoglobin function. Therefore, even a small deficiency of available iron can cause defect in oxygen-carrying capacity. In fact, two of the most common types of anemia, iron deficiency anemia and anemia of chronic disease, are caused by iron problems, a lack of iron and an inability to properly use iron, respectively. Sideroblastic anemia is caused by an inability to form the structure that holds iron, which is the protoporphyrin ring in the process of biosynthesis of heme. In sideroblastic anemia, adequate amount of iron is present and available for the developing red blood cells. There's an inability to utilize the iron, hence the iron accumulates in cytoplasmic granules, eventually forming a ring of granules around the nucleus of the red cell precursor. Such cells are called ringed sideroblast, and they're the basis for the name sideroblastic anemia. Etiology There are many causes of sideroblastic anemia. The two big categories are congenital causes, which are less common, and acquired causes, most common. Congenital causes The congenital sideroblastic anemias can be subdivided depending on their symptoms and signs exhibited into non-syndromic and syndromic forms. By their mode of inheritance, X-linked, autosomal recessive, or mitochondrial, or, according to red blood cell size, microcytic, or normocytic to macrocytic. Non-syndromic forms. Most congenital sideroblastic anemias are non-syndromic, they can be X-linked, referred to as X-linked sideroblastic anemia, XLSA, or autosomal recessive, referred to as autosomal recessive congenital sideroblastic anemia, ARCSA. X-linked deficiency in aminolevulinic acid, ALA, synthase, involving the ALAS2 gene. Pyridoxine, vitamin B6, is converted in the liver to the active coenzyme Pyridoxal 5-phosphate, PLP, an obligate cofactor for ALA synthase. Approximately in 75% of patients with X-linked sideroblastic anemia, the anemia responds to pyridoxine supplements, to a variable extent, by enhancing the function of some ALAS2 mutant proteins, in particular when the mutations affect PLP binding to the ALA synthase enzyme. Syndromic forms Syndromic cogenital sideroblastic anemias have other, non-hematologic manifestations, such as neuromuscular and metabolic abnormalities, in addition to the ring sideroblast feature. Pearson syndrome, Pearson marrow pancreas syndrome. It occurs due to large deletion of mitochondrial DNA, cogenital multisystem disorder characterized by severe sideroblastic anemia, milder neutropenia and thrombocytopenia, pancreatic insufficiency, lactic acidosis, and failure to thrive from infancy or early childhood. Acquired Causes Acquired sideroblastic anemia presents most commonly in adulthood, and the causes include myelodysplastic syndrome, drugs, alcohol, interrupts heme synthesis, isoniazid, causes vitamin B6 deficiency, chloramphenicol, impairs mitochondrial protein synthesis, Cycloserine, toxins, lead poisoning, inhibits ALA dehydratase and ferrochelatase, zinc overdose, causes a deficiency in copper via impaired absorption of copper in the colon, nutritional deficiencies, pyridoxine or vitamin B6 deficiency, B6 needed for action of ALA synthase, copper deficiency, Copper plays a role in mitochondrial redox reactions via cytochrome C oxidase. Excess alcohol use. The ring sideroblast feature in microcytic hypochromic anemia observed with chronic alcohol use has been attributed to impairment of heme synthesis through the effect of alcohol on vitamin B6 metabolism as well as on subsequent steps of heme synthesis. Diagnosis. Hemoglobin. The hemoglobin level is variable among the sideroblastic anemias, and the hemoglobin is usually below 7 grams per deciliter at diagnosis. RBC indices. The anemia is microcytic, 
low meaning corpuscular volume, and all non-syndromic forms of congenital sideroblastic anemia, X-linked sideroblastic anemia, XLSA in males, and those due to pathogenic variants in SLC25A38, HSPA9, HSCB, and GLRX5, and two of the syndromic forms, XLSA-A, and sideroblastic anemia with B-cell immunodeficiency, periodic fevers, and developmental delay. The anemia is also microcytic in sideroblastic anemia due to isoniazid. The anemia is normocytic to macrocytic, normal to high mean corpuscular volume, in females with XLSA, and in most of the syndromic forms of congenital sideroblastic anemia, mitochondrial myopathy, lactic acidosis, and sideroblastic anemia, Pearson marrow pancreas syndrome, and thiamine responsive megaloblastic anemia syndrome. The anemia is normocytic to macrocytic in nearly all the acquired forms, including myelodysplastic syndrome, MDS, copper deficiency, and most medication-induced cases. Red blood morphology. In severe cases of sideroblastic anemia, striking anisocytosis, poikilocytosis, target cells, and occasional siderocytes are prominent findings on blood smear. Hypochromic red blood cells with distinctive coarse basophilic granules, usually in pairs, which can be seen on the standard right or right gheme sustain. These granules are residual iron-laden mitochondria, and they will stain positive for iron as Pappenheimer bodies. Bone Marrow Examination The bone marrow aspirate smear in sideroblastic anemia usually shows normal blastic erythroid hyperplasia and often poorly hemoglobinized cytoplasm in the RBC precursors. Dysplastic changes are common in the myelodysplastic syndrome disorders. The Prussian blue stain smears reveals the presence of ring sideroblast, the diagnostic hallmark of all sideroblastic anemias. It is very important to note that ring sideroblast will not be seen on a peripheral smear because these are only present in the bone marrow. Iron studies. Iron studies show an increased ferritin, decreased total iron binding capacity, increased serum iron, and an increased percentage of iron saturation. In cases of inherited sideroblastic anemia, genetic testing is the most definitive way to establish a diagnosis. Treatment. Treatment of sideroblastic anemias depends on the severity of the anemia, whether reversible abnormalities are present, and whether the sideroblastic anemia is responsive to a specific agent. Patients with the non-syndromic forms of congenital sideroblastic anemia, the treatment is aimed towards prevention of organ damage from iron overload, as well as control of the symptoms of anemia. Vitamin B6 supplements are often effective in XLSA. To counteract iron overload, Patients may undergo therapeutic phlebotomy, in which small amounts of blood are removed from the body to decrease the amount of iron, or iron collation therapy. Drugs such as deferoxamine can be used to remove iron from the body. Thiamine is used to treat thiamine-responsive megaloblastic anemia, TRMA. In the syndromic forms of congenital sideroblastic anemia, the clinical course is largely dominated by the non-hematologic features and their care. In copper deficiency, the hematologic abnormality should be corrected by copper replacement. In drug-induced sideroblastic anemia, the anemia and associated morphologic abnormalities are reversible and disappear upon drug withdrawal. For isoniazid, INH, the anemia can also be reversed by administering large doses of vitamin B6, up to 200 mg per day orally, while continuing the drug if needed. Image Discussion Right Staining Image A shows mild degree of changes, consisting mainly of a small number of hypochromic red cells. Image B shows severe changes, including hypochromia, microcytosis, and many misshapen red cells, and refractory anemia with ring sideroblast. Prussian blue stain of the bone marrow in a patient with RARS. Blue stain ferritin iron deposits in the mitochondria of erythroid precursors from an apparent ring around the nucleus. Electron micrograph of a single erythroblast with iron-laden mitochondria. Electron-dense deposits and clustered near its nucleus. Siderocyte containing Pappenheimer bodies and sideroblastic anemia. 
peripheral smear from a patient with clonal sideroblastic anemia, showing a population of hypochromic and microcytic red cells. One hypochromic red cell has three iron-containing inclusions, called Pappenheimer bodies. Basophilic stippling of red cells in lead poisoning. Peripheral blood smear shows basophilic stippling in several red cells from a patient with lead poisoning. The granules represent ribosomal precipitates. Bone marrow findings in Pearson syndrome. The images show findings on the bone marrow from an infant with Pearson syndrome, also called Pearson marrow pancreas syndrome, PMPS. Panels A and B show right gim sustained erythroid and myeloid precursors with numerous cytoplasmic vacuoles. Panel C and D show iron stain ring sideroblast. Another hallmark of PMPS is exocrine pancreatic insufficiency.